If your FPS dropped or your game started lagging after the new update, don't worry. In today's video, I'm showing you the updated Plexity Fast Flags settings for Roblox after the patch. Plus, I'll also reveal some extra GPU, CPU, and power plant tweaks that boosted my Roblox to over 500 plus FPS. So let's dive right in. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off power throttling in Windows to use full CPU power. If you have an old or low-end PC, it's extremely important to make sure your computer always uses 100% of its CPU power while gaming. To turn it off, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run box. In the window that pops up, type gpedit.msc and hit enter. This will open the local group policy editor, which is where Windows hides its advanced settings. On the left side, navigate through the folders in this order. Computer configuration arrow, administrative templates, arrow system arrow power management. Now, look on the right hand side and find power throttling settings, then double click it. A new window will open. Inside that, double click the option named turn off power throttling. In the next window, select Enabled, then click Apply, and finally OK to save the change. Once you've done this, Windows will stop limiting your CPU's performance in the background. This means your processor and graphics card can now work at their full strength all the time. Step 2. Unpark CPU cores to make your processor work better for gaming. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU processor has several cores, Think of them like tiny workers doing different tasks at once. Sometimes Windows parks some of these cores, puts them to sleep, to save power, which is fine for regular tasks, but terrible for gaming. When some cores are asleep, Roblox can't use your full CPU power, causing frame drops and lag. Once it opens, you'll see all your CPU cores listed. If you notice the word parked next to any core, that means it's currently turned off or limited. Click the unpark button to wake up all those cores and make them active again. This forces your CPU to stay fully awake and ready to process your game efficiently. Once that's done, Roblox and other games will run smoother, especially during heavy scenes with lots of players or effects. After unparking, your CPU will now always use 100% of its cores, meaning you'll get higher FPS, faster game loading, and less lag overall. It's a big difference, especially for weaker systems that struggle with multitasking while gaming. Step 3. Use Plexity and Fast Flags to optimize Roblox performance, updated version. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now, let's talk about Plexity, the upgraded and now legendary Roblox optimization launcher that's become one of the most powerful tools for boosting FPS up to 500 plus. Plexity has recently been updated and fixed to work perfectly with the latest Roblox patches, making it the ultimate launcher for smooth, lag-free performance in 2025. Start by downloading and installing Plexity from your FPS Boost Pack. Once it's installed, search for Plexity in your Windows search bar and open it. You'll first see a clean setup screen. Pick between light mode or dark mode, whichever fits your vibe. After that, you'll see the Roblox Priority Settings section, which controls how much CPU power Roblox gets while running. If your PC is low-end or older, set it to high priority, so Roblox always gets maximum CPU time. If you're recording, streaming, or multitasking, Normal priority gives more balance. Once done, Plexity will confirm your setup is complete and ready. Inside Plexity, enable these key options to improve your Roblox performance drastically. Clean Roblox temp files, removes leftover cache data that slows Roblox down. Clean Roblox logs, deletes unnecessary logs that build up every session. Enable multi-threaded rendering, makes Roblox use all your CPU cores efficiently. Allow cross-game teleportation limit, speeds up transitions between different games or servers. There's also an optional bottleneck detection feature that can show whether your CPU or GPU is the main limitation, but we'll leave that off for now to save resources. Now, go to the Fast Flag section. This is where the real performance boost happens. Turn on Refresh Rate Unlock, which lets Roblox match your monitor's refresh rate. For example, 144 Hz equals 144 frames per second. Enable Max Frame Rate to remove Roblox's internal FPS limit. Set texture quality to low, ideal for low-end PCs to save VRM. Finally, use DirectX DX as your rendering mode for the best compatibility and performance with Windows. You can also visit the Plugins tab for extras like Ping Display and Uninstall Tools, and the Tweaks tab for even more optimization. 
To import your fast flag presets, go to Editor Settings, Add New, then paste your preset from your FPS Boost Pack and hit Save. After that, launch Roblox directly through Plexity. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Use MSI Utility to make your GPU respond faster. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your GPU graphics card is what powers Roblox visuals. Sometimes it doesn't communicate with your PC as fast as it could, and that causes lag or stutters. The MSI Utility V3 tool helps fix this by making your GPU respond quicker. Open the MSI Utility V3 tool from your Boost Pack. A list of devices will appear. Find your dedicated GPU. It will say NVIDIA or AMD Radeon. Check the box under the MSI column for your GPU. This changes how the GPU talks to your system and makes it faster. Next, set interrupt priority to high. This tells your PC to give the GPU more attention than other devices. If you also see your integrated GPU, like Intel UHD graphics, you can enable it the same way. Click apply and close the tool. Now your GPU will send and receive data faster, which helps Roblox graphics render more smoothly with less lag. This can make a big difference in your FPS especially during fast movements in Roblox. You'll see better response time and less stuttering in games with lots of action. Step 5. Use Throttle Stop to keep CPU speed consistent while playing. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Sometimes your CPU slows down to prevent overheating, which can cause Roblox to stutter. The tool. Throttle Stop keeps your CPU speed stable so your games run smoother without sudden drops in performance. When it opens, choose the game profile. Then check the box for high performance so your CPU always stays in performance mode. You don't need to change advanced options like clock mode or multiplier unless you are an expert. Just look for the option, disable turbo and turn it on. This makes your CPU stable and prevents sudden speed changes while playing. Click turn on and then save. Keep throttle stop running in the background while you play Roblox. This ensures your CPU stays steady, which helps reduce lag spikes and makes gameplay smoother. With this running, your CPU won't randomly slow down, and Roblox will keep a stable FPS during your whole session. Step 6. Make your PC start faster by turning off extra apps. For the last step, we will make your computer start faster and save resources by disabling unnecessary apps that start with Windows. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open the Task Manager. Click on the Startup tab. Here you will see a list of apps that open automatically every time you start your PC. Right-click on apps you don't really need at startup, for example, Spotify, Discord, or other background programs, and select Disable. This prevents them from wasting your computer's power in the background. When you are done, restart your computer so all the changes we made in every step take effect. Now your computer will boot faster, Roblox will run smoother, FPS will be higher, and you will experience less lag while gaming.